So Stargirl has been a big hit. People have liked it. People have loved your performance. It's coming back for season two. What was it like jumping into this one? Um, surreal. And I'll, I'll be honest, it was kind of surreal the entire time. Like, <laughs> I've never done anything like this. This is pretty much completely out of my wheelhouse. So for me, just being on this kind of set and playing this kind of role, and I kept saying I'm doing this kind of blank, it was all new. And, but I do feel like something in me has been unleashed a little bit. And now I'm like, well, I want to do more. I want to do more. So it was incredible. Well, I think it's really cool that there's so many different layers to your character. And it's like you get to tap into playing a villain. You obviously have the Paula Brooks side. What was it like navigating both of those parts? Uh, super fun. I mean, literally the best of both worlds because you get to play, you know, I, I'm playing this character who has this really wonderfully developed veneer. She's got her public face on. She's really good at it. She knows what she has to do to, to keep up that facade in this town. <laughs> but then her real side, I think, her id is Tigress, of course. And when that gets unleashed, then it is just chaos and wonder. And she has a, <laughs> she has a great time, <laughs> which I don't do in my life. That's not <laughs> who I am. Why do you think this show has resonated so much with people so far? I think it. Well, for me, it hits all the buttons. Do you know what I mean? Jeff Johns, a creator, and I, we grew up pretty much exactly in the same time period. And so it feels familiar. You know, it has that 80s movie sensibility where there's all these wonderful storylines and characters and it's the good versus evil. But it's also been updated in a way that feels um, really relevant to today, just in terms of the blended family and the, the young female heroine, which I love to see. And she's surrounded by a diverse cast, which is great. Um, but yeah, I think there's so much that can resonate with people today. And certainly from my perspective, I'm just looking to escape a little. And mm -hmm. this is a world worth escaping into, you know, where you're like, yes, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so for once, TV actually is, is the reality I want to go to. Yeah, it's like this world actually is much more appealing than the world outside right now. Can I just hang out here for a little while? A hundred percent, even with the super villains and, you know, the potential for like a, a scary evil takeover. Yes, actually, now that I'm saying it out loud. <laughs> no, but I, I, <laughs> I think, uh, yeah, people are really enjoying it. And that's super gratifying because everyone put in so much hard work. So it's been really fun. Yeah, I know you put in a lot of hard work, especially with the stunt work. I mean, you have some dancing background from way back in the day, but what were the biggest surprises about doing stunts? I think that they, that they really empowered me to do as much as I did. You know, I, my main goal in my preparation for the role was to be strong because cosmetics and looks, that, that's something that I really can't control really. I mean, the makeup team is amazing and stuff, but like, my physical strength, I wanted to be able to sustain and have the energy to do as much stunt work as I could because the hours I know are super long and then you throw in hurtling your body through space and that's a completely different element. So because of the dance training, I think they felt like they could give me choreography often right on the spot. And um, I was able to hide my sheer terror and just push through it. And Lauren Mary Kim, who is my incredible stunt double, held my hand through the entire process, step-by-step, step, kept me safe, um, made sure that I was in the right place at the right time. And sometimes that means like a millimeters difference. You know what I mean? So yeah, that was very eye-opening to me. And um, I was so thrilled to do as much stunt work as I did. It was so fun. But Lauren, man, she is incredible. That's awesome. So I think a lot of people will be familiar with your fellow castmates, whether it's Luke Wilson or Amy Smart or Joel McHale. What was it like having them exist all in this world with Stargirl? Again, just totally surreal. <laughs> I'm a huge fan of both Amy and Luke. So when you're suddenly face to face with, with someone that you only know through different projects, it's just, it takes a second to realize, ah, human, flesh, person like it just takes a second you have to adjust and with them of course because they're wonderful people and so down to earth the adjustment was very quick and amy and i had had a lot in common we both have young children and we both love to read so connecting with her was simple and then luke is just he's hilarious and his sense of humor really really matches mine so i i really enjoyed getting to play with him the tiny little bit that i did i really enjoyed 
you mentioned the fact that this is a show that's perfect for the moment right now, but what does it mean to you that at some point down the road, your kids will be able to watch their mom doing her thing on a TV show like this? Well, I'll tell you what. So I have three children. I have a 19-year-old stepdaughter, a three-year-old and a four-year-old. The 19-year-old, she's seen me as an actor for years. So to her, it's kind of old hat. She's like, yeah, cool, cool outfit. And then, but to my littles, you know, I spend most of my day saying things like don't hit. Mm. So it's kind of odd for them to then watch me hitting. Um, I have to say, whenever I've shown them stuff from the show, they've seen very little. But I always have to preface it with like, this is just mommy pretending. It's, it's just pretend. Don't do what I'm doing. <laughs> but they, I think they kind of get it. You know, they were able to come to set. They saw me with the makeup on because it's a little scary. That white eye is, that mm-hmm. dead eye is scary. And, but then they began to understand, I think from a Halloween perspective a bit, you know, that I was just dressing up. It was just play. 